Welcome to the ultimate gold making guide in season three of New World. I'm gonna be showcasing you how I made upwards of 1.2 million gold in just about a week since the launch of season three. In this video, I'm gonna be showcasing three different methods I use to gather up this 1.2 million gold. And if you enjoyed these methods, be sure to like and subscribe. It just tells me it's actually worth creating content like this. So without further ado, let's talk about how we make some money. First things first, as we all know, there are new crafting components that every player needs in order to craft best in slot gear. One of them being a enchanted handle, another one being a tempered cast, which is a little bit more expensive on my server, which so we might focus on that, almost 9,000 gold each. And you actually need both an enchanted handle and a tempered cast in order to craft a weapon matrix, which is about 15.4K or so on my server. It just makes the most sense based on margins for me to focus on tempered casts based on the current market. So with that being said, we're gonna walk over and start crafting some of these. The prereq for this is that you do need 250 weaponsmithing. It's totally worth grinding and spending some money on this earlier rather than later because the margins are great. You can see it takes two of each of the new prismatic ingredients, a few gypsum orbs, this costs some of our time, and then some azoth salt, I mean uh, gypsum casts, so it's really not that much. I'm just gonna speed this along and craft a handful of them. It's not too expensive to craft these and the margins are just amazing. So as I'm done crafting these, I'm gonna go ahead and take another quick look at the trading post. If we take a look at tempered casts, we can see that right now they're selling for about 9,000, just straight up buy orders, I mean sell orders. But if we look at current buy orders, they're also at 5.6K. So with that in mind, we're gonna go ahead and just take a look at how much money we're actually gonna be making and how compared to how much we spent in order to craft these. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and throw, let's say maybe 10 or so on the trading post. And I'm just gonna go ahead and undercut the uh, lowest sell order just to see if I can pick up some easy gold as we're finishing up this video. So there we go, 8.9K or so, gonna post those up. And honestly, they're gonna be picked up pretty quickly. If it's a weekend, it'll be picked up even faster. Now let's dive into exactly how much it's actually worth doing this method, right? So right off the bat, we can see the required materials in order to craft one of these tempered casts. We can see how many of each material we need, as well as the costs associated with each of them. Like for example, one prismatic ingot costs almost 1100 gold on my server, which is nuts, but we'll talk about that later. Um, and then we can see the total cost. So it costs approximately 4,000 gold in order to craft one of these. Keep in mind, you do need some gypsum orbs that just take some time, but if you're doing your dailies, you should have a pretty good stockpile of them regardless. If we're talking about the 10 that I posted on the trading post, right here, we can see it adds up to approximately 40.5K, which is kind of an investment, but once we get over here, we can sell, we can take a closer look at the fact that it's actually worth doing this. So right here, I have the sell order listed at 8.9K, which was what I showed earlier. And if we're super lazy, worst case scenario, I do have the buy order here. So we can just say, hey, if you want instant gold, instant profit, you can also go this method. So if we sold the 10 tempered casts for the lowest sell order, which is the best case scenario, we'll make just under 90,000 gold. If we're going strictly quick profit, no risk, just sell it the way it is, we'll make 56,000 gold. The total profits through sell orders, which is the best case scenario for 10 of these tempered casts is almost 50,000 gold. So you can imagine this picks up pretty quickly if you do it in a mass quantities, which really helped me hit that 1.2 million gold number. Also, if you're super lazy, just want gold right away, you can still make a $15,000, well, 15,000 gold margin really quick just through 10 tempered casts. So again, keep this in mind. I'm not sure how long the market is going to be like this, but it is totally worth it. And this is how I made some really fast money early on in season three of New World. Before I share the next two tips, please consider liking and subscribing to my YouTube channel. It just tells me it's worth creating content just like this and that it's actually helping you out. Okay, let's go ahead and jump to the next one, which is all about Dark Hide. Currently on my server, which is Marama, 
one piece of dark hide is 1.28 gold, which honestly is pretty crazy. Just to put it in perspective, let's say someone buys 200 pieces of dark hide, it's 267 gold, and it's honestly extremely easy to pick this up. Even the buy orders are pretty high at 1.18, so you can make instant profit if you just farm it out a little bit. In the top right corner, I'm gonna be sharing a video that I posted a week ago or so, which is still relevant today. It's essentially a nonstop farm for Dark Hide. These mammoths are just constantly respawning. It's super easy. You can get some weapon XP and skinning XP in the process. But again, it's essentially easy profit. Pick it up, 50 Dark Hide a piece, easy money. Next up, let's talk about something that we're all probably doing, which are elite chest runs. As you're gathering these different chests throughout Eternum, chances are you're picking up some decent bind on equip items, which means you can sell them to other players. One of the biggest situations though, is that many of us do not understand the value of some of these items that we're picking up. So what I'm gonna be sharing with you is a Discord in the link, which is going to help you determine the value of these items that you're picking up, so you're not throwing away something that could be worth a lot of money. So here is the Discord, it is the New World Global Trading Post Discord, and this is your one-stop shop when it comes to selling best-in-slot or close-to-best-in-slot items that you may pick up in expeditions or elite chest runs or really just any anywhere throughout Eterna. As you can see, there's over 7,400 members in this Discord. It honestly is the one-stop shop to go to when it comes to selling your gear just a quick look of how this will actually work. Let's say I have a light chest that I wanna sell or a light helmet. I'll go ahead and jump over to the armor dash light category and we'll see, you know, just a few hours ago, people even posted this. Some of the items that people are posting in here, if someone's interested in the item you posted, they'll just shoot you a quick DM saying how much and you guys can bargain. If you're uh, curious on the value of your items, just scroll up a bit. You'll actually see some conversations between people here and there in regards to how they're pricing certain items. For example, this person is pricing this item at 50,000 gold. I'm not saying this is exactly what it's worth, but it just gives you a ballpark uh, value of what to kind of go off of. Um, even this individual here, you know, sometimes people will be posting things that they're looking for, such as light armor pieces that have enchanted and um, enchanted ward and nature harnessing. So yeah, this is really the one-stop shop. If you guys have any items that you pick up through these elite chest runs or expeditions, and you're not really sure if they're worth anything, I highly recommend just checking out this Discord, seeing if there's some value um, with the item you have, and honestly picking up some more gold. I mean, I've used this a handful of times already since season three has launched. And again, I picked up some easy gold, helping me hit that 1.2 million gold that I have today. That basically covers it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments below. Thanks again, guys, and I'll catch you guys later.